Hello everyone. Well, during the day today, not much going on in Iowa besides cold and windy conditions. But tonight and tomorrow, a different story. Looking quite snowy in the state, but for some more than others. We'll get to the snowfall amounts in just a bit, but first let's start with the timing. Let's start at 8 a.m. this morning, and it's good news for the morning commute no matter where you are in the state. Lots of clouds, but completely dry. No rain or snow to be found. And we're actually going to skip a lot of time here. I'm going to jump ahead all the way to 2 o'clock this afternoon, because I don't think it's until 2 o'clock this afternoon that the first few flurries of snow will start to show up in the southwestern part of the state. So even at 2 o'clock, a lot of us still dry. But it's also about 2 o'clock that we're going to be hitting our high temperatures. And look at the variation today in the state. And we're talking about mid to upper teens in the northwestern part of the state, but mid to upper 30s in the southeastern part of the state. Now, though there's going to be temperature variation, one thing that's not going to vary are the winds that we're expecting, particularly during the late morning and early afternoon. No matter where you are in the state, very windy, gusts around 40 miles per hour, so a significant wind chill factor no matter where you are. You can easily take 10 degrees off these temperatures, and that's what it's going to be feeling like. After the early afternoon, though, the winds are going to be gradually coming down, but for some, they're going to pick up again tomorrow. More on that in just a bit. But again, chance just in the southwestern part of say at 2 o'clock. Let's jump ahead another six hours, all the way to eight o'clock this evening, because finally eight o'clock this evening, I think we got a chance of flurries in the eastern part of the state, and we'll call it scattered snow showers for the western part of the state. But notice just now at eight o'clock, see that dark shade of blue showing up around the Omaha area? So just beginning around eight o'clock, the potential for heavy snow. So let's particularly focus on that darkest shade of blue, because that's the heavy snow that'll really be adding to our snowfall total. So let's jump ahead some more. Here we are at midnight, and we'll keep monitoring the winds as well. Uh, by midnight, we're just talking about a light breeze in the eastern part of the state, gusts 15 miles per hour. Western part of the state still on the breezy side, but definitely improvement from where we're going to be late this morning, early this afternoon. And notice now, potential for heavy snow, Denison, Fort Dodge, Waterloo, probably not making it to Mason City, though. I think we're going to stay in the light to moderate snow there. Let's keep going. Now we're at 4 a.m. One other thing I need to mention for the southeastern part of the state, you see that purple showing up. That is some freezing rain. And I do think it's definitely going to happen in the Burlington area. It's kind of a 50-50 shot around the Quad Cities. But even around the Burlington area, I don't want you to get too worried about freezing rain and ice because we're just talking about a few hundredths of an inch, a glaze of ice, not a crippling ice storm by any means because I don't think it's going to be a very long period where this freezing rain is going to be coming down. And it could happen briefly in the Quad Cities, but even for a shorter window than what I'm expecting around the Burlington area, but just warm enough where there could be a little bit of freezing rain. But for everyone else besides the southeastern part of the state, an all-snow event. And notice at 4 a.m., we're talking about heavy snow. Des Moines, Osceola, Iowa City, maybe still in Waterloo, and on in to Dubuque. Now we're jumping ahead to 8 a.m. morning commute tomorrow. And where is the heavy snow going to be? Where are we going to have the biggest impacts for the morning commute? Dubuque, Iowa City, Burlington may begin that transition of snow. And I do think it's all going to be all snow in the Quad Cities, and I do think there's potential for heavy snow. It is absolutely going to be slowed down because not only heavy snow coming down in this part of the state, but look at the winds, gusts around 30 miles per hour. And when it's windy and there's snow coming down, that reduces visibility even more. So that's going to make it an even more high impact event than usual because it's also windy and the snow is coming down to us. Temperatures below freezing, so this will be accumulating snow that will be able to accumulate on roads as well. So not good conditions for the morning commute. And it's also worth noting, though, we're only expecting light to moderate snow farther to the west. Waterloo, Des Moines, Osceola, there will already have been a period of heavy snow, so there are still going to be snow-covered roads, even though the intensity of snow isn't going to be that big. It's still not good conditions for the morning commute. But also notice that there's less wind now as you go to the west. Now just breezy in the western part of the state, and that's a good thing because look at the single digits showing up. But still a wind chill factor, I guess, around 20 miles per hour. All right, lunchtime tomorrow. For most, the heavy snow is gone. I'll still mention an outside chance there could still be a couple pockets of heavy snow for the Quad Cities, but almost over with there. 
Now we're looking at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And I think for the central and western part of the state, completely done with the snow. Look at the clouds uh, breaking up. And really, even for the eastern part of the state, it looks like just isolated light snow showers. Certainly no more heavy snow. It'll definitely be off to the east. Now, temperatures tomorrow, these are our high temperatures, about three, four o'clock tomorrow. Look how there is not much variation tomorrow, unlike today. We're talking about high temperatures tomorrow, just ranging from the low to mid-20s across the state. That cold front clear of us, so everybody has uniform temperatures in the state. But unlike today, look at the big difference in wind. So just a light breeze for places like Sioux City, Omaha, gusts around 15 miles per hour. But for Dubuque, Davenport, Moline, Burlington, windy gusts around 35 miles per hour so in the eastern part of the state yeah you gotta say you, get, you can take 10 degrees off these temperatures and that's what it's really gonna be feeling like finally six o'clock looks like the magic hour where we're done with the accumulating snow now i've got to mention maybe for a few more hours sometimes the model doesn't pick up on it could there still be some flurries in the most eastern part of the state yes that's a possibility burlington Davenport, Dubuque, but accumulating snow? No, I think that's over with. Six o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So, how much snow? Well, let's start with the low totals and go to the high totals. And the lowest snowfall totals are gonna be in the northwestern part of the state. I'm still showing you what the possibility is right now with the models. There is still a range, but certainly a much tighter range and what we were dealing with yesterday. So right now, it looks like a dusting to two inches for Sioux City, Fort Dodge, Bay City, as little as a dusting, maybe as much as two inches. But boy, does it start to rack up quick once you go just a little bit farther to the south. Denison, we're talking about two to four inches of snow. Waterloo, a four to six inches. Quad Cities, three to five inches of snow. But notice where that freezing rain it's probably going to linger a little bit longer. Notice a little bit smaller around the Burlington area, just uh, two to four inches of snow. But it looks like the sweet spot. See that dark shade of blue, that band of dark blue in there. It's awfully close. Notice like Dubuque and Waterloo. It looks like it's going to go right in between. And it looks like it's going to be right over Des Moines and Osceola. In that dark shade of blue, we're talking about five to seven inches of snow.